thank you for joining me on this nugget as we focus on designing conditional access policies. Designing conditional access policies requires us to have an elevated understanding into what objectives we'd like to achieve as an organization. Mostly, the objectives revolve around having an effective way to manage the different applications and devices that are accessing our data. So when designing conditional access policies, the first thing in our strategy is to have an inventory of the different types of devices we have within our organization. This will help us to have an understanding of what devices have access to what application. And once we've identified the different types of devices in our environment, we should now be able to ask ourselves the following question. All right, if these are corporate owned devices that are accessing the different types of uh, systems or maybe applications in our environment, are there any other devices that do not belong to the organization that still access this data? If the answer is yes, then we should also account for those devices. These would now be personal devices, maybe because we have bring your own device implemented within our environment and we begin taking it up from there. So the reason why we have to account for personal devices is simply because if we set up a conditional policy based on location and say this is a designated area A as the only location at which you can access application B. In the event that we have a user who has a personal device who has moved to an unknown location X, this user over here will no longer be able to have access to application B simply because they are no longer in the designated location. So to avoid all this kind of confusion, we have to have an understanding of the different types of devices we have, which devices are corporate owned, which devices are personally owned. And remember, it is very important for us to know that conditional applications are based on the if then rule. This simply means that if we are accessing an application, there is a condition to it. For example, in this scenario where we have a conditional access policy, it simply states that if a device is in location A and would like to have access to application B, then grant access to it. So device, if device is in location A, then grant access to it. However, if the device is in an unknown location, such as location X, regardless of how compliant that device is, the rest of the policies deny access to this particular application. So whether the device has the latest version of operating system, it is not jailbroken, it has low levels of risk, that device will be outrightly denied access. And that is the beauty of conditional access policies. The next important thing for us to identify are the kind of platforms that these devices are running on. It is important for us to remember from the previous nugget that devices running Linux at this moment of recording are not supported within Office 365. So we would need to establish that we have devices that are running either Android operating systems, Windows operating systems, Mac OS or iOS operating systems. Apart from setting conditional access policies based on devices and platforms, you can also set up conditional access policies based on the applications you would like people to access. For instance, you can deny access to certain applications based on the browser the user is using to access that particular application. You can also deny access to certain applications, especially if those applications are being accessed using a mobile device. So in the event that that particular application is being accessed using a mobile device, you would like to ensure that this particular mobile device used to access the application is compliant to the various rules or policies that you may have set in your MDM. And this brings us to MDM authority. What kind of an MDM authority are you using? In most cases, folks may go with Microsoft Intune, which is really great, but others may have different MDM authorities. And if you're using Intune, you'd simply need to ensure that your subscription has MDM for the enrollment of devices, as well as MAM for all the applications that you may need to add within your organization. In addition, it is also important for us to understand the user privileges within the organization. For example, if there is a special group that requires special privileges, we would need to accommodate this special group when it comes to creating policies. Let us say we are creating a conditional access policy similar to what we did earlier, whereby a device should always be in location A for it to be able to access application B. This special group would need multi-factor authentication or an additional authentication method to ensure that when they are out of this location, they still would have access to that particular application that they required to have access to. What do you think are some of the desired outcomes when it comes to designing conditional access policies? Well, if you're using Intune as your MDM authority, that simply means you are in charge of the different devices you've enrolled into Intune. And therefore, you can give access or permit these Intune managed devices to have access to all the applications they're supposed to have access to within your environment. 
However, these devices must still be compliant with the various policies that would have been set within your environment. Policies to do with the versions, the platforms that should actually be running on those devices, etc. And if they are compliant, then they can have access to any of those applications that they're supposed to have access to. And within Intune, you can go ahead and configure your devices to have access to all these applications from any location. Another desired outcome within organization would be to permit browsers from non-trusted locations to have access to our applications. And if we have that special group that needs special privileges, like we said earlier on, we can always implement multi-factor authentication, maybe in form of an SMS that is sent to uh, their mobile devices, generating a one-time PIN that simply allows them to authenticate themselves and gain access to a particular application. And finally, you can deny browser access from certain geographical locations. For example, if your organization does not operate any offices within Iran, you can outrightly deny any access to SharePoint platform from any device that is trying to access it within Iran. And these are some of the features that organizations would like to see being implemented whenever they're setting up conditional policies. In this nugget, we looked at some of the considerations to make when designing conditional access policies, such as taking an inventory of the types of devices that are within an organization, the types of platforms available, applications, MDM authority, user privileges, as well as what the desired outcomes are when organizations are setting up policies like these. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.